Welcome to Footloose Venting. Today we have come cross-country schooling. Again, we being myself, Justine, uh, with Ember and Lady, which is Riley's horse, which you will have seen um, in a vlog, which I haven't actually edited yet, but that will be out before this one, so that's okay. Here's Justine. Hello. You ready? Hello. We've come back to the scene of the crime, which is Blackwater Farm, which is where Ember and I always seem to struggle with the whole concept of cross country. So we've got a new plan guys and I don't know how uh, good it is going to be to for you to actually watch this because my plan is uh, to basically get on, have a very limited kind of efficient warm up I'd say and just get off his back and go around the course. Crack on. And crack on. Uh, apparently. So this is the new, the new method. We're trying methods because for those of you who don't know, he uh, has a tendency to nap and plant. So we're just going to, none of that today. We're just going to have a nice lollop round some little fences, aren't we? Aren't we, Justine? Absolutely. Hello. He says, oh no, we're here again. Yeah. Hello, mate. Did you tie him up? Yeah. Oh, is he going to tie? Oh, look at that forelock. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm ready. Is he ready? Okay. Take your time. Huh? You take your time. Hello. Yeah. For you. <laughs> yeah, the groom's still a good job. Yeah. No, finally. <laughs> Are you ready? I just thought I'd talk you a little bit through our warm up um, because the plan was just kind of get on and have a have a kind of limited warm up and to crack on this area that we're in now is actually the warm-up that they use for the event where Ember has been quite stressed before and as you can see you know he's just kind of trotting around and letting him do whatever he wants with his head <laughs> and not taking a contact and just keeping my leg on and trotting him around but he's trotting very nice and freely but yes you can see he's getting quite um, excited and he just needs to relax and just kind of you know drop his head and realize that actually it's all fine it's all fine so I have a little trot on both reins really no interference from me whatsoever um pats on the neck saying you're such a good boy and um eventually he does actually begin to chill out and the head tilting stops and he's like oh, okay it's actually quite boring he'll spook at a patch of grass there So I'm just following on from Lady here, just popping him over this log. See a big jump and he's like, Wee, this is exciting. Um, but obviously that's not what we want. We want him to be more relaxed and free. So um, but big pats, because he did it he did it really quite sweetly. And it is exciting being in a big grassy field. Um, so we just come again and I'm just letting him bowl on. And it's good that he just popped a little one in there because I'm trying to eliminate the launching. Now this everyone is uh, the start box and obviously he knows that this is the start box and this is where historically he has done his napping so we're just currently finding a way to kind of work through this so my theory and Justine's theory is just to keep keep him moving and don't let his feet go still but you can see Still got a relatively, well, I have got a loose contact and I'm just turning him. Whenever he goes to plant, I just turn him. So it's all right. It's okay. We're just going to turn little circles, keep him moving. And then I think we just give him the benefit of the doubt here and just let him say, well, lady's going over here. So you can go over here too. And it's all in the mind with him because he does switch off and kind of shut down. Um, but actually when he's going... He's like, okay, so this was quite good. Um, we did actually get through the star box and then he rushed up over fence one 
and then got him into a, this was the canter that I got the whole way round the course. And I did jump fences one to eight, I think, uh, before I decided to have a nice canter through the long grass, <laughs> just to see if we can just get him moving. And this is where I had my little uh, accident. <laughs> Now this was a pathetic fall, um, I've never fallen off like that before, just cantering along. Uh, so yeah, well done me. I was just letting him have a nice falling canter and the grass changed and he just, I don't know if you got it on camera. But yeah I did. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> just, and that's the first time I've fallen off him, but lovely soft landing. You're not even puffing. Relax. Yeah. Fuck it up. So we actually came back to the start box at the end, um, as you've just seen, just to give him a walk around and for him to, again, give him the chance to go in and out the start box again. 
You can see that my hands are really literally holding onto the pommel with a really baggy rain contact just to actually have no contact, no kind of backwards feeling or uh, pressure so that he can just walk forward and feel happy doing so. It's also good that he's got Lady just to kind of mooch round after, uh, just as an extra support, really. I haven't fallen off for freaking ages. <laughs> and I've never fallen off you before. Um, but no, that was, on the whole, thank you, Amber, on the whole, that was a lot better. I think the plan is, I mean, Justin will tell you the plan in a minute, but I think we're going to come back again and do very much the same thing. Um, but you can see the problem is not with the fences themselves. It's kind of like the in-between stage and he just freezes. But you can't use any leg and you can't use any hand. So it's just it's all in the brain. But we'll get there. Anyway, I'm going to untack him now and then Justine's just showing Lady the... Oh, she's on her way back. And then we're going to... Ow. Ow. Thank you. Get off! And hey presto, we are back. We're actually in the car because we're about to go to the shop. Justine's got her reusable uh, bag. Guess what shop she goes to. Um, yeah, so I would say, apart from me falling off on the flat, because that's probably the most embarrassing thing. It's quite amusing. I'm so, slightly sorry I missed it. <laughs> he spooked at a piece of grass, guys, okay? And he just disappeared from underneath <laughs> me. Anyway, I did hold on to him and he was fine. Anyway, uh, that was a good step in the right direction. We now know that if in under any pressure that you put on him when he starts napping, he will tell you to... Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's just about finding a, a trick to keep him switched on because I think what's happened to him in the past is he's learnt to switch off and we need to show him that it's it's all good and it's fun and it's nice yeah and actually he was a million times better so much better yeah, and good. as you saw guys there's no mm. there's nothing to do with the fences and he actually really enjoys fences i think he gets it's like something in his head i think mentally just there's like an overload and he just switches down and it's about teaching him to not switch down and it's fun and he he knows it is when he's yeah. Lots shut down. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was a we big jumped, step forward. We jumped some 90 fences. You did. You did. It was a big step forwards. It was very good. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to do the same again um, soon and then just see if we can just kind of get the message home. Yeah. So yeah, keep stay tuned for that, guys. Uh, we're going to go because Justin's still got a horse to ride, which she really, yeah, she's really excited to do. Very really excited about that. <laughs> I've got to go ride Laurie Lee. I'm going to get the doggies home. Hi doggies. Um, so if you enjoyed the vlog, you know what to do. Leave me a comment, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Yeah, more or mine. Well I'm Justine's if mine, you want don't to. Subscribe to <laughs> <laughs> it's rubbish. I wouldn't watch it. Right, see you soon. Bye. <laughs>